Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. In this session I am going to talk about other routes in the SPK. Um, first I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I do here. I will then take you through how I ended up here, why I'm needed in this company and then finally what it feels like to work here. This is only going to be a 10 minute long presentation so let's get started. First thing first, who am I? My official job title is UIS developer. And here's a picture of myself stomping around in our office. But other than that, what do I do here? Well, there are two main things that I do here. And one is my technical research projects. And another is to give demos and presentations like I'm doing right now. Our technical research projects mainly involve product testing. I'll talk more about why this is important later, but occasionally we also get other important projects like third party software integration and application maintenance. So, here is an example of one of the projects I've done here. So, the ArcGIS API for Python includes the ArcGIS.learn deep learning module. But at that time, no one in the company really knew about um, what it was capable of and how easy it was to use it. It was my job to figure that out. So here's what it looks like if you try to detect houses using the ArcGIS.learn deep learning module. And here's, an, here's another example of another project I've done. ArcGIS Survey 123 is a complete form centric solution for creating and sharing surveys. And recently, Esri Inc. have given us access to this plugin that allows us to integrate an object detection model into our survey. And as you can see here, you can see these little boxes that tell you what the object is. It then automatically populates the survey for you. So why is this important? Well, for the end user's point of view, they don't need to know exactly what they're serving, thus reducing the training cost. Okay, so another kind of work we do here is, of course, putting together demos, presentations, blogs, webinars, and etc really showcase how powerful the ArcGIS platform is. And because we're usually the first group of people to try the latest technologies and products, it is also our job to present our findings internally. We'll talk more about this later. So here are a few examples of my presentation. Um, it will take you to my LinkedIn page where you can actually find the actual link to register yourself and watch those videos. So do have a look if you have time. Let's now talk about how I got here. This might give you an idea of what it takes to land yourself a job at Esri UK after your graduation. I'm going to briefly talk about my education and work experience. I was born in Seoul and grew up there. And in 2012, uh, I finished my A-levels and went to University College London to study mechanical engineering. I did complete my first year, but it wasn't quite my thing, so I decided to drop out and join the army. Now, national service in South Korea is still mandatory, so all guys have to do this. This could be anything from a year and a half to two years. This really gave me some time to think about what I really want to do with my life and what to study to achieve those goals. What did come into my mind was the fact that we're all going through this global crisis otherwise known as climate change. And I really wanted to figure out what I could do as an individual. So that's why I decided to study environmental monitoring and modeling at Southampton University. That's where I first learned how to program in Python, Java, MATLAB, and SQL. I was also introduced to GIS and physical oceanography. In fact, I really loved physical oceanography courses I had there and decided to take a step further and do my master's degree related to that. But before we move on to my master's degree, I would like to emphasize the importance of doing a summer internship. After my second year at Southampton, I had this summer internship at this place called Satellite Applications Catapult. My job was to automate the processing algorithm to detect illegal fishing ships using Python, and TensorFlow, which is a very easy to use machine learning framework for object detection. In my case, that would be ships. 
This is also where I was introduced to Linux, which ultimately made me convert my laptop from Windows to Linux later. Now, as I mentioned before, I was really into physical oceanography and especially how our oceans behave in the Arctic. Throughout my master's degree, I learned not only how to carry out geospatial analysis using Python, but also other soft skills such as being independent and my ability to seek information. And about two months after I submitted submitted my thesis, I found a job at SVUK and joined the company in September 2019. Now, I want to talk about where my place is within the company now. I'm in this team called Technical Research. When Esri Inc. developed new products, we, as their UK distributor, need to figure out what we do with them before we make them available for our customers. So that's where we come in. Our job isn't actually to develop a new piece of software, but use our programming knowledge to investigate the ArcGIS platform. So we explore, we test, we write up and present our findings internally to all other teams within the company, especially the sales team. This is so that they know what it is, what's it's good, what it's good for, and other things to bear in mind. In other words, we tell the company about the product, then they decide whether to sell the product or not. And if, for whatever reason, the product isn't quite there yet, we can feed it back to Esri Inc. to improve it. So, what does it feel like to work here? To give you a bit of a clue, I would first like to spend some time reading this quote. So, here at Esri UK, there is always something you can do and succeed at. We have many different positions you can apply to, including, but not limited to, UI consultant, UI developer, technical support analyst, marketing and pre-sales, and many more. And finally, in terms of work environment, firstly, it's very flexible. You can choose to come into office earlier and finish earlier if you want to, provided that you can attend all the important meetings. You can also just wear t-shirts and jeans to work, unless of course you you have a very important meeting with your customers. And finally, but most importantly, people here are very friendly and approachable. This is very important because you are going to have a lot of questions when you first start your proper job straight after university, and it's really nice to know that everyone around you is very help, happy to help you through your journey at SVUK. So that's it from me, and if you want to get in touch, here is my LinkedIn profile. Thank you.